from inside Tropicana Field here in Tampa Bay. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just a little bit away from first pitch. And today's starting pitcher, Taj Bradley. What do we have on him? Well, oh, he had to shake off that last start. He was outstanding. Had double-digit strikeouts. Just couldn't get the run support that he needed. Pitched very well. We'll see if he can come out today and repeat that performance. Swings through it for the K. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. David Peralta at the plate. But that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. He's in at second with a one-out double. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Next offering is fouled back. For Freeman Singy, all the hardware, the multiple All-Stars, an MVP. He's won Silver Sluggers, a Gold Glove. And then finally, in 2021, a World Series championship with the Braves. And he walked him. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Should be extra bases. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He'll score easily, and it's 1-0. Well done. Drives in the run. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. Oh. Well, looked at the fastball for strike three there to end the inning. Back here at Tropicana Field, and on the mound in this one, Tony Gonsolin. What do you have on him, Singy? And his last start couldn't carry his warm-ups in the bullpen out to the mound. Yeah, couldn't get out of the first inning. Very frustrating for this guy, but today he's focused on having a quality start and pitching his team to a win. Into second base, the tying run is on with a leadoff double. Taylor Walls next to hit for the Rays. And a 2-1 on the way. In the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. Next offering finds the zone and the count is full. Righty delivers, gets under it and pops it up. And in foul ground, he pulls it down, one out. Yandy Diaz now. And that one hammered Betts, going back on this one. Still going back, caught just shy of the wall. Runner tagging for third. Francisco Mejia coming up to hit. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. And the runner holds. And a 1-2. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Next offering oh, is down low. It's a good take. Way outside. Okay. And now it's three and two. A Rosarena at third with two away. pitch swings and misses struck him out all 
Get set for the start of the inning. And now, J.D. Martinez. On the ground, right side. And it stays fair. Now he turns and heads for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Fought off foul. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Max Muncy at the dish. Bounce to the right. Oh, wow. nice play. Fires to first, and he'll be safe at first. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Miguel Rojas at the plate. He was a strikeout oh. victim his first time. 2-2. Two -two. Liner stayed at first. To the bag oh. himself. It's a double. <laughs> and welcome back. We head to the bottom of the second. And here is Wander Franco. Ground ball up the middle. On the run. Throw to first. Leadoff yeah. man retired here in the second. Isaac Paredes now. One down, base is empty. Fights it off, you'll see another. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. In there, that's a double. Love how he became a really tough out with two strikes right there. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Popped up. Taylor under it. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. And stepping in for the Rays, Josh Lowe. Right-hander deals. Low checks his swing. Appeal down to third. Did not go. Paredes at second with two down. Kicks and fires. Line drive, base hit, right center field. Paredes, around third. Throw home, not in time, the run scores. It's 1-1. Gets it done to drive in the run and tie it back up. As a hitter, there's not a whole lot better of a feeling than a double into the gap. Right off the bat, you know you put a great swing on the baseball. And now, Curtis Mead. That one misses. The count now, two and two. Out towards left center. And makes the play, and that's out number three. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. All even at one. Back here at the ballpark, top half of the third inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, David Peralta. In the dirt. Catcher has it, fires the first. In time to get him, one away in the strikeout. The pitch. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Walls settles under this one. And there's two down. And now it's Mookie Betts. The 1-1. One -one. In the air to left center. Walls under this one. Makes the grab and that's the inning. Dodgers. Welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third. Now the left fielder, Randy Arozarena. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. They get the out on a Rosarena. Taylor Walls next to hit for the Rays. Swings and misses. And it's one and two.
Next offering is foul back. Next oh. one just misses. And it's two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. High fly ball down the left field line. Hauls it in, two away. Yandy Diaz next to hit for the Rays. And a pitch. That's oh. a little bit low. There's a swing and a drive. Betts ranging back and gone. His second of the year, and they jump out front. It's 2 1. a great feeling as a hitter you let the ball travel tracked it pretty nicely he's almost beat there but he gets the bat head in time and it's true enough to stay fair I mean that's a good feeling when you can hit an opposite field home run and he did it right there this one high in the air to left center Martinez has a beat on it brings it in and that ends the inning one in the inning and it comes from a rather unlikely power source and Back now in Tampa Bay, out of the fourth at the play. Trace Thompson. The next offering misses. Two and one. Swings through that one. I think he was sitting off speed there. Next one in the dirt. Now a high fly ball out to left center. The Rosarena moving under it. One away. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Swing and a miss. One, and the count is one and two. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. J.D. Martinez stands in. Doubled his first time up. Next offering is downstairs. <clears throat> Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Back here at Tropicana Field, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Wander Franco. Well, these Rays doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Very close off the outside corner. Could have easily been called a strike in that location. And a 1-1. Next oh, offering is outside. Swings and misses. That's strike two. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. and misses it's a strikeout came inside with that two strike fastball nicely okay. and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate couldn't get around on it and catch it out front many times if you do it's a foul ball and you know a lot of runner on the goal next pitch has popped up he's got it and that'll end the inning one left for we go to the top of the fifth Chris Taylor now gonna count one and two Pull there by the changeup and in a hole right here. It's got to try to shorten up a little bit, put the ball in play. Next pitch misses, ball two. 
Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. And that's in for a strike. That one is absolutely belted. Walls raging back towards the wall. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. So the lineup flips over. And now the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Rojas checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. He did not go around. Two outs. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They're down two to one. And welcome back. Now it's the right fielder, Curtis Mead. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And the righty deals. And it's even up. Bullpen activity starting up now. Jimmy Nelson preparing to come on if needed. Vesia, a left-hander, also throwing. Swing and a miss struck him out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready oh. to pull the trigger. And now the count is even. Got him swinging. No, oh, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed. And you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Here comes a pitch. In the dirt. Throw on to Freeman. And that'll do it. Three up, three down that time. We're through five. It's the Rays two and the Dodgers one. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now the center fielder, David Peralta. Colin Poche gets the call from the pen. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. Makes the catch for the out. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. And Poche ready to work. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Nothing doing here this half. Part of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Rays 2 and the Dodgers 1. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Jimmy Nelson. And he's got a big time breaking ball to contend with. Uh, hitters going to have to pick it up early if they're going to have any chance. Number 40. Line drive. Pulls it in. One away. Now bad. The first base. So digging in, Francisco Mejia. 2-2 two -two now. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. <laughs> with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nothing doing for Tampa. They lead it 
Welcome back. New inning getting started. And now the DH, Trace Thompson. Yanni Chirinos gets handed the rock out of the pen. And he's been fantastic this year. Really stingy in terms of allowing base runners. He's just got great stuff that's tough to square up. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Snuck the fastball by him. The batter now will be Will Smith. That You're one misses, right. and it's two and one. Good eye right there. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. And that's ball four. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. And now it's filled up. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for any. To second, there's one double play. They can't seem to break through. In. Now on the bump, Alex Vesia. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Now it's the DH, Isaac Paredes. This one lifted in the air, left field. Martinez settles under it and makes the catch. One up, one down. The catcher number 14. And here is Christian Bethencourt. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. Strike two. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. Ground ball, left side. The throw to first. Out. Two up, two down. The batter number 15. Josh Lowe next to hit for the Rays. And now it's one and two. Way high. Two, two. And now the lefty. Look out. And down on strikes he goes. And that is that. Rays go in order. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's the second baseman, Chris Taylor. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. That one missed. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. No outs. Runner at first. Here's Max Muncie, that funky Muncie. Left hand hitter waits. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Another one, two. Got it! Down on strikes, and he knew it. Clearly looking out over the plate on that outer third, and that pitch finished. Right down the oh. middle, just a little bit in, and he couldn't pull the trigger. On the ground, a second might be two. There's one. Double play. They can't seem to break. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound, Phil Bickford. And he's had a struggle so far this year, as you can see the inflated ERA. Looking to bring that down a little bit right here. Next offering ball, misses, and yeah, that's ball two. Two ball, one strike. Liner to second, it picked on the hop. The throw, and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Now it's Randy Rosarena. 
The kick, the 3 2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Next offering is foul back. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Now up for Tampa Bay, Taylor Walls. One-one, check swing, appeal down to third. And he held up. Betts running hard to get it. Tracks it down for the out. And that is the third out of the inning. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Jalen Beeks. Well, he's a big-time strikeout guy out there. This season, averaging more than one per inning. Here's a 2-1. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. You know, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Next one misses, and the count is even two and two. On the ground to first. Could be two to Franco for one. How about that double play? Here's Mookie now. He has. As they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing. And thunder in that bat. The 2-1. And now one strike away. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. With this win here today, you've won the first two games of this three-game 